What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. So I get probably about an email, a message, a DM, or a story reply, or a comment here, <laughs> pretty much several times over a day about a guy who has a situation with a girl that he needs help on. And almost always the question is like, oh, this and this happened, sometimes it was good, now it's bad. Um, and now he's wondering, should I move on or should I keep pursuing this girl? Is this girl wasting my time? So that's the question I'm gonna answer in this video today. Um, is she wasting your time? <laughs> okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna cover is I'm gonna cover um, the basic uh, principle that you should have to know whether she's wasting your time. And then I'm gonna give you individual specific examples of things that I look for in my life to figure out if a girl is wasting my time or not. Okay, so let's begin. What you need to get clear of first before you even start getting into the specific examples is what do you actually want from this person, okay? Do you want a relationship with this person? Do you want something committed? Do you want something open? Do you want, what, what do you want? Or maybe you're just looking to have fun and hook up with a bunch of people. Dude, I've been there. In some ways I'm still there, you know? But if you are going to keep doing that, then ask yourself that question. Is this person right for me and my life? Too often, guys will get lost and they'll, they'll start asking themselves questions that don't matter as much. Like, does this girl like me? You know, am I, do I look cool being around this girl? What do my friends think? What do my parents, like those kinds of questions. What you should be asking is, does this girl make sense for me and my life? Put yourself first. Always put yourself first. Okay, and ultimately that's what's gonna be the best for you and best for her as well too. So um, if you're in a situation with a girl um, and she's giving you a lot of things over text to make you think that she's interested, but then she won't meet up with you, does that sound like a good person for you in your life? I mean, if you want a pen pal, if that's your goal, then yeah, sure, it would be great. But if your goal is to have actual sex and I get on an actual date with this person, then you need to meet up with them in real life. That's just what has to happen. You know, we got COVID right now. I know, I know there's some, some people who uh, just don't wanna to touch other people or, or don't wanna go up. That's fine, take care of your health. But you know, if, if you are a person who does want to, uh, to do the heterosexual romp, then find someone who's down for that. Find someone who is open to do that sort of stuff with you, okay? And not everybody is, and that's okay. So some of the things that I look for are, first of all, like I said before, will they meet up with me in person? Super important. If I've tried to make plans with this person and they flaked on me twice, meaning we've set, we tried to set something up and then they cancel, or you know, you've, you've figured out their schedule and then they're just really making it difficult, oh, I'm busy all week, I can't do it then, I can't do it then. If she's done this to you twice, then you gotta move on and find somebody else, okay? You know, I went out with this uh, girl who was in medical school one time and dude, it was pretty much like, <laughs> you know, every single time we'd make plans, it was like clockwork. Like the day before she would cancel because she had to study for an exam or something came up in, in, in her school. And that's cool, you know, I'm happy for her pursuing her career. But if you want to date me, like I got to meet up with you in person. I'm not just going to hang around and, and wait for you all the time. So I ended up saying, no, you know, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to go out again because you're going to cancel on me and you know, that's, you gotta, you gotta take care of your career, and I understand that, but I, I wanna do what I wanna do as well, too. And that's how it ended. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter if the person's nice, it doesn't matter if the person's really, really hot, it doesn't matter if the person's really, really into you, but if they're not good for a fit in your life, then it makes sense that you people should find somebody who will be a good fit for you in your life, all right? So if she flakes on you twice, find somebody else. Um, also, too, if she's not giving you her attention, you know, maybe she's responding to your text messages, but she's not really reading them. Maybe when you hang out, she's like hanging out with you and drinking, but she's constantly looking around to see who else is there. She's constantly looking at her phone. Other things are more important clearly for her, all right? If a girl's not giving me her attention, that's not sexy to me, I'm not into it. Uh, if she is giving me her attention, yeah, I'm into that, all right? So you wanna make sure that the, this person's giving you her, their attention. Also too, with the mixed signals thing, sometimes she's super into you, sometimes she's just really not into you. And look man, women come and go, like they're, they're very you know, cyclical, they're very, their emotions change all the time. And that's okay. 
But if it's happening repeatedly where you just don't hear from her, she just, she'll just ghost you out of nowhere, or like, you know, sometimes she's just like really, really cold for no reason. If you've talked with her about this and she hasn't changed her behavior, then you gotta move on. And I would say like with the mixed signals thing, a lot of guys wondering, well, what, what is she trying to tell me with mixed signals if it's really early on in the, in, in, in the dating process? Um, I'm like, dude, that is the message. Sometimes she's really hot for you, sometimes she's not. And if you're cool with that, you know, and you just want to sleep with her, yeah, you can just invite him out to a party if you're out at a bar late at night or something like that. She might show up if she's horny. Like, there's a good chance she will um, if she's, like, still been on and off with you for a while. Um, but if you're not into that or if you don't, you're looking for something more serious, then probably not the right move. <laughs> you know, move on and find somebody who won't give you mixed signals. Find somebody who will give you the signals that you're looking for consistently. Okay, so yeah, sometimes it becomes a judgment call. I can usually tell uh, sometimes with the way people are doing things that, uh, you know, sometimes their approach was really wrong and if they changed up their approach, then the girl wouldn't be wasting their time. Um, but most of the time I would say, the guys are just putting their energy in the wrong place. And you wanna put your energy in the right place with people that are actually gonna give you um, help. So that's one thing that I work on with my students a lot, how, to do that, how to spot these women a lot quicker. Um, and that's something that I talk about also in my approaching system, which will actually get you a lot of options with women too. So if you want to link to that, the link is in the description box below. Click on it um, and you'll get signed up for the mailing list. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching you guys. If you've made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like every single week. And if you want to get personally coached by me, there's a link in the box below as well too. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Good luck out there.